West Maui is still on track to reopen to visitors on October 8th. Now, it's a delicate attempt to restart the economy while balancing disaster recovery efforts. There are currently 8,000 fire evacuees living in temporary housing. The Red Cross says that once tourism restarts, some people will need to move to different hotels, but no one will be displaced. Uh, there is a, um, a counter narrative that we should not open up for several years. That's not possible, but we won't displace individuals who are currently in hotels or other Airbnbs or other housing uh, to accommodate anyone. There will uh, be a point where there may be some uh, need for uh, individuals in our NCS care to move to uh, new hotel uh, locations. However, uh, I can assure uh, those that uh, would be moving that uh, they still will have um, that ability to, to have a hotel room. It may just be in a different uh, location. State leaders call Melly's hotel booking on October a trickle, and they're more concerned about the lack of visitors early next year. The county's emergency management agency has asked Hawaiian Electric Company to start repairs inside the Lahaina burn zone. HECO is going to be replacing electrical equipment and poles that were damaged by the fires and the high wind. Since August 25th, crews have restored power to more than 95 percent of customers who lost power in West Maui and upcountry. Right, we had some breaking news this morning. Police opened an attempted murder case after they say that a 44 year old man critically burned a 24-year-old woman. This happened in Kalihi yesterday afternoon around 4.30. We're told the woman was taken to the hospital because of the severity of her burns. The suspect fled the scene. No other information was released by police. Honolulu Police Chief Joe Logan received a positive performance evaluation from the police commission. Honolulu Civil Beat reports that he met expectations in 29 categories and exceeded expectations eight times. Logan never failed to meet expectations in this report. However, commissioners did say that he could do better when it comes to communication. It was recommended that he hire more spokespeople to improve communication about, quote, major public safety incidents and to make HPD spokespeople more accessible to the media. He was also urged to redouble recruiting efforts as HPD has about 400 officer positions open. Logan took the job in June of 2022. Fall starts tonight. Tomorrow is the first full day of the fall season, although the summertime conditions will persist going into the weekend. And those winds, especially uh, strong today, then they'll be backing off, but they'll hold firm into the latter part of next week. This See It Now digital news brief is sponsored by Long's Drugs, bringing our heart to every moment.